Mr. Cisneros, are you familiar with the tweet? It's both on the screens, it should be up there, and right behind me, by the former DODIA Chief of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Kalisa Wing. Are you familiar with the tweet? Can you please read the tweet aloud? So exhausted at the white folks in these PD sessions, uh, this lady actually had the caudacity to say black people can be racist too. I had to stop the session and give the Karen the business. We are not the majority. We don't have power. A thread why us for assistance. And again, for the viewers who are watching this, this is the former chief of DEI for DODIA, for schools in our Department of Defense. This is wildly inappropriate and unacceptable. Do you agree with that, Mr. Cisneros? I do agree that that is uh, not acceptable. Uh, it's not condoned by, it's not something I would condone, and it's not condoned by DODIA or the uh, Department of Defense. Well, when I raised this issue, in fact, I wrote a letter to the Department of September of last year and did not receive a response. It was only when I wrote a follow-up letter on November of last year, we did finally get a response on, in December stating the Department was conducting an inquiry into this matter. Today, six months after that initial inquiry, you responded three hours prior to this hearing, which is a trend for Biden administration officials at the last minute scrambling before these hearings, claiming that you determined Ms. Wing was speaking, quote, in a personal capacity and that her colleagues never heard her made similar comments at work. However, interestingly, in the letter, which I want to submit for the record, Without objection. it also states that she has been transferred as part of headquarters restructuring. She was reassigned to another position that does not include diversity, equity, and inclusion specific responsibilities. I have a feeling that has to do with the fact that we have shined light on this. But my question for you is, will you commit to making the review and the findings publicly available to Congress and to service members? Uh, Ma'am, you did get the uh, letter today. Uh, I apologize that it did not come sooner, but I will say also uh, my team has, has been down here uh, the Dudia uh, team as well to to talk with staff on this topic. No, uh, there was the no director, response to the letter. We the were promised 30 of, uh, days. Dudia 30 days schools, after September would be October. The director of schools, the Tom Brady, was down on a hill to talk with staff as Don't well. Don't cover up for the trend of the Biden administration. This is the second hearing in two weeks where the response to a letter delayed is given the day of or the day before the hearing with FBI Director Chris Way. My question for you is will you make the findings of this review publicly available to Congress and to servicemen and women? You know, Ms. Ms. Wing is a, is a GS employee. Um, she's not a senior executive. Uh, there are personal restrict there are restrictions that we are, have to follow, uh, but we will look into the matter as far as uh, to see what can, be, what can be shared and what can't. Well, we're requesting that. Uh, my next question for you is, have you read Kalisa Wing's books titled, What is White Privilege? What does it mean to defund the police? What is the Black Lives Matter movement? Have you read those books? I have not read those books. Are you aware, however, that those books are in DODIA K-12 schools throughout the country? I do not know. Uh, I can't say with certainty. I do not know that they are in those libraries at all or, or if they have been or, or if they are now. Well, they are. Do you think that's, imp that's appropriate? I don't know for a fact that they are. They are. I'm telling you they are. That's why I asked you the question. You should know. know. You're a DOD official. I'm informing you, you should know the answer that they are available. Well, I, and I one reason you should know that is because in her own presentation as a DOD employee at a DODIA summit, she stated, quote, my passion work is dismantling disparate discipline systems, and I am hugely passionate about dismantling the school-to-prison pipeline. I've written a book, Promises and Possibilities, Dismantling the School-to-Prison Pipeline. Shameless plug. That's her words, end quote. So while conducting her official duties as a DODIA employee, she advertised not only her personal social media accounts, which included this tweet, her personal websites, but she advertised her personal books. Are you aware that this is illegal for DOD employees to advertise and promote their personal books that they will profit off of those sales? I, again, this was a book that she wrote in a personal matter. It was on her personal tweet, I guess, from what I understand. No, no, it wasn't on a personal tweet. Saying? It was at a DOD summit. In her capacity presenting as a DOD official, she promoted her book, and in fact, she said, she stated this is a shameless plug for her book. Is that illegal, and is that appropriate? 
I don't know who she was talking to or what the summer was. I'm not aware with that, but I can look into it and I'll get back to you. Well, you seem to not know a lot of what's happening in the department. You seem to be inappropriate. Uh, so my expectation is that we'll continue educating you on what's happening in the Biden administration Department of Defense, but this is absolutely uh, unacceptable. We expect that report, and I will take it as a result that we delivered, making sure that she should have been fired completely, but she was at least moved somewhere else, not dealing with our kids' educational systems. Well, there are restrictions that, again, she's a GS employee. She's not a senior executive. Uh, the inquiry did find that, uh, you know, these, the tweets that she made or comments that she made were not in line with the Department of Defense or Judea schools, uh, but they were made on a personal basis. Uh, th that was the result of the inquiry. And we will look into the privacy that's in there, and, and we will share, uh, we, we will look into what we can share and what we can't share. I'll yield back to the chair.